Hey guys, it's Miss Harrison, and I'm here to tell you guys how to write about your art. Every project that we do, you will have to write some kind of statement about your art, talking about what you did, why you did what you did, how you used the elements and principles of art and such. So what I'm going to be doing today is using the fifth grade writing prompt for the trading card project. So you can use this though to help write any of your artistic statements that you have to do this year. So one of the first things you have to do is you have to really look at your art in a new way and look at it from an outside perspective. So when I look at this, I need to be thinking before I ever write, I need to be saying, what are the elements of art that I've used here? Did I use line? Did I use shape? Did I use form? Did I use color? Did I use value and texture and space? What did I use in this picture that's an element of art that makes it interesting? Then I can think about principles of art. If, you're, if you are at that level, if you're sixth grade and you know the principles of art, you can think about what principles of art did I use? What is my balance like? Did I emphasize anything? Um, did I use any pattern? What is my contrast or movement, variety? All of those things that we've learned, you can think about. So the prompt for this particular assignment is which elements and principles did you choose? Do you think you communicated your choice as well with your art? And what would you do differently? Okay, and which card is your most successful and why? Obviously, I don't have all my little trading cards here, but we'll go through some of this together. So you go one step at a time. Which elements and principles did you choose? So I always start my artist statements like this. Hello, my name is Miss Harrison, and this is my artist trading card project. You say your name. You introduce yourself and you introduce the project. It's not always going to be Miss Harrison because you're not Miss Harrison. And it's not always going to be the artist trading card project because it will be different projects. Then I like to say, for this project, I used the elements of, what did I use? line, I see shape, my shapes turned into forms, so I see form, hmm, line, shape, do I see some value, is there a, is there a difference in the colors, do they get darker to lighter, yep, I used value, texture, is there texture in some of that zentangle in the background, I think so. I used texture. Did I use my space? I absolutely did. That's what this project's about, actually. It's about space. Line shape. Oh, and I definitely used color. This is one of the projects that I give that uses absolutely every element. And I love it because it's a good way to talk about the elements of art. That's what I chose. That's what I used. Which ones did I think were the best or the more successful? Um, I think that I used space very well because it looks like the buildings are tall and coming toward the viewer. So I had to use, ooh, and we're always going to make mistakes, so we're always going to fix those up. So I think that, yeah, I used space really well because I'm looking and those, I had to know exactly how to, to show that a building gets smaller the further away it gets from you. So I think I used, I think I used my space pretty well. The principles of art that 
I used, oh, I went on caps lock, are, well, let's see, balance. It's an asymmetrical balance. It's all, I mean, it's kind of got that radial vibe to it, but I wouldn't really say that balance. I do want to say I used proportion. I used proportion because some of those buildings are smaller, some of them are larger. I definitely used pattern on there in all of that uh, Zentangle. Would you say the buildings are emphasized because the back the background is black and white and the buildings are colorful. So I'm going to say I used emphasis. There is some movement in the patterns in the background. Um, I think I used unity. I think it all unified together. It's, it's clear that I, I did this on purpose. Um, let's see, proportion, pattern, emphasis, movement, unity. I did use variety. Let's just stop there. And variety. Then I need to talk about what I think I used the best. The principle that I think I used the best best was pattern in my Zentangle designs in the background. Okay, so I've, I've talked about my elements, I've talked about my principles, I've said which one I like the most. Now, how would I do this project differently? If I were to do this project differently well I love this project so maybe you don't always have to make it a negative thing if I were to do this project again I might change the way I used space to show the buildings as if I were looking up at them into the sky. It doesn't always have to be a negative. So maybe you choose, you say, I did it this one way, I'd like to do it some other way. Um, it doesn't have to be something you find wrong with your art. We can always ad admit it if it is. And then I'm going to go back to this question. Do you think you communicated your choice as well with your art? And I'm going to say, I think that my knowledge of the elements and principles of art are very clear in this project. Whoop. And we will need to erase this, okay? And then I always end with thank you for viewing my artwork. So there's a pretty simple formula to writing about your artwork. And we kind of did it here. Um, we did leave some steps out that I normally do. But normally it is tried and true like this. You introduce yourself. Yourself. You introduce your project. Then, a lot of times, if you want people to really understand what you're talking about, you will talk about the materials you used. Then you'll walk them through the steps you, you used to complete the project. Then you will talk about elements 
and principles of art that you used, something you learned or were great at, something you could do different, and then you thank the viewer. That's a pretty simple little formula. If you introduce yourself, you introduce the project, you tell what materials you used, you tell about the steps you used, you talk about your elements and principles, you say something awesome you did or that you learned, and then you talk about something you could do different, you're pretty much there, and then you can thank the viewer for looking at your artwork. So I really hope this, this helps you in writing about your artwork for the rest of the school year. You can always come back to this video and watch it again and use this to help make your artist statements really, really strong.